Oh. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to him. <laughs> Okay, Rory, your uh, first win in Scotland, second Rolex Series title, won a co-sanctioned event, PT World Tour and PGA Tour. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. Um, you know, I, I came here this week, you know, we're you know, obviously on the eve of the Open Championship and, you know, you're thinking about trying to prepare for, for that, but then, you know, you think about the weight that this tournament carries being co-sanctioned for, you know, Race to Dubai, FedEx Cup, all the stuff at the end of the year as well. So um, I feel like I've sort of killed two birds with one stone this week and, you know, got given myself, uh, you know, an even bigger lead in the Race to Dubai. I got myself up there in the FedEx Cup. Um, and a, obviously a huge uh, confidence boost going into the Open next week. Um, you know, I've had my chances over the last couple of months and, I've um, been knocking on the door, just haven't haven't quite been able to get it done. So you know, hopefully this uh, breaks the seal, and uh, you know we can we can go on from here. We heard a nice little stat earlier that you were the first player to win the Irish Open, the Scottish Open, and the Open. I mean, yeah. you've achieved a lot, but that's a nice little something to put on the CV, isn't it? It is, yeah. Especially obviously being a, a player from from this part of the world, uh, you know, to win to win those three titles um, throughout my career is. Uh, yeah, it's it's a nice thing to have. Um, you know, I, you know, national opens are, are usually the oldest titles in our game, and I've sort of made it a, a point of pride to, um, you know, to, you know, I've I've won a few, you know, the, the two on on the on the other side of the Atlantic, uh, you know, the three over here, uh, I've won the Australian Open as well. So, um, you know, these national titles I feel are, are pretty big deals, especially when you see the. And when you look at the trophy and you see the list of winners that have that have gotten their name on it uh, on them, um, you know, so it's nice to, to add my name to, to this one now. Good, we'll open up. Bell first. Rory, a fantastic back nine, uh, four under in those, especially in those conditions. Um, can you talk us through that, and obviously particularly seventeen and eighteen? Yeah, um, you know, and that's with like birdie and the two par fives on that nine as well. So. Uh, you know, it was almost it was one of those days where you try to make the birdies on the on the downwind holes, and then you just try to make pars uh, on the, on the end of the wind holes. So, you know, I had a nice birdie on eleven, um, you know, and then I got I got lucky with my putt on twelve. The wind the wind blew it back into the hole, and then uh, you know fourteen three eighteen there. You know, a, a you know bonus of a putt on fourteen, and then. You know, those last, I, I felt like missing that birdie putt on 16. Um, you know, after Bob had posted 14 under, I thought that was really, I mean, I think you know, birdie in one of the last two is a, you know, a, a great, you know, a, an achievement. Um, so I, you know, once I'd missed that putt, I was like, okay, if I can somehow birdie 17 or 18 and get myself into a playoff, that's all I was really hoping for. Um, but the two, the two iron shots I hit, um, the five iron on 17, and then that two iron into the last. They're they're two of the best iron shots I can I can remember hitting, um, especially under the circumstances. And especially then you had a long wait to wait to take that put on eighteen. What were you, what was going through your mind as Tommy and Tom were? <laughs> um, I was just trying to take the scene in. You know, everyone around the green, and um, you know, I I get to I get to do this for not for a living. I get to do this for. Um, you know, to, to try to fulfill my boyhood dreams, I guess, you know, so to, to be on the green and in that environment and, you know, the more that you can try to smell the roses along the way. Um, so that's, that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to take in the, take in the scene and um, do anything to not think about the putt that I was going to try to hit. I, I knew what it was. I didn't need to overthink it. You know, it was a straight downwind putt, so I just needed to get it started online, and 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 you know, gravity and and wind and the conditions would take care of the rest. Okay, we've got Martin, and then over to Cameron. Rory, even for you, a first win in Scotland was always going to be sweet, but to do it the way you did, how special was that? Yeah, it was. Um, you know, it was for whatever reason walking onto the seventeenth tee. The 2013 Australian Open popped into my head. Um, 
I was one behind Adam Scott with two holes to play. We were playing with um, playing in the same group as each other. Uh, I held a great putt on 17 for par to stay one behind playing the last. And then he made a bogey and I made a birdie and I, I was able to clip him by a shot. And I, for whatever reason, you know, I think all the experience that you gain, uh, I mean, I haven't, I haven't thought about that tournament in probably years, but when I got myself into this position today, that's the first thing that popped into my head. So, you know, all those memories and those experiences, they, they stand by you and, and, you know, that just give me, give me a good feeling going into those last couple of holes to, you know, to try to do something special. As a follow up, obviously Bob will be disappointed, but to come so close, I mean, you played with him here a few years back. I mean, what sort of message would you have for him at the moment? If he can shoot 64 in a day like today, he can, he can do anything. I mean, that was an unbelievable round of golf. Um, you know, it's, yeah, I, he, and it's great to see him back in form as well. Um, you know, we obviously had the win in uh, Rome last year and then he's, uh, you know, sort of went, went off the boil a little bit, but it's, it's nice to see him hitting some form again, especially at an, at an important point of the year when he's, you know, looking to try to make that Ryder Cup team. Hey, over to Cameron. Uh, Rory, over to your right. Uh, congratulations. Uh, the front nine, the way that it went and the way the weather was, it seems like it would have been very easy to sort of mentally sort of lose hope. What did you tell yourself or what did Harry tell you as you walked to the back? Yeah, I mean, he, he, he told me there's still plenty of chances on this back nine. You know, 10, 11, 12, 13 were all playing downwind. 15 was playing downwind as well. So, um, yeah, he was just trying to keep me as positive as, as he could. And um, yeah, I knew that the, you know, even, you know, because we teed off on two tees, you know, I saw the guys turning, you know, that started on 10 and it seemed like there was some better scores on that back nine. So I, I still, I, I certainly didn't think I was out of it by, you know, by any means going on to that, going on to that 10th tee. John, down in front left. Rory, I'm just wondering if you feel like you've made a couple of points today about one about your ability to play in strong wind, and two, your ability to, once you're in contention, just get it done? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Um, you know, I tried to say yesterday that, I, that I'd improved as a wind player, and I feel like I have. Um, you know, hopefully those two iron shots on the last two holes would, would prove that. And then, yeah, to, you know, it's not, you know, you got to hit great shots, but you also have to finish them off with the putts, and that's something that, um, I didn't do it at St Andrews last year. It's something I didn't do in LA a few weeks ago. Um, so to be able to hold those putts coming down the stretch when I needed to, um, I don't feel like it really proves anything. I, I don't feel like I need to prove anything in my career, but it, it's it's satisfying to know that, you know, for me that, that I can still do it and can still get it done. Back to Phil in the right. Uh, Rory, you... Um the week before your last major win at the 2014 USPJ, you obviously won Bridgestone. Uh, you've obviously now won again, going heading to Hoylake. How much of a boost is it? You're obviously playing great golf anyway, but how much of a boost is it heading down the road? Yeah, it is. It's um, it's nice to have the validation. The validation, you know, it's it's yeah, it's great racking up top fives and top tens, but um, it's much nicer heading away with a trophy on a Sunday afternoon. So. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, it's a great shot of confidence. Um, again, going back to, you know, that little nugget about the Australian Open in 2013, you know, having something fresh in my memory to, you know, if I find my, hopefully find myself in a similar position next week where, you know, I've got a chance to win with nine holes to go, I can certainly draw on what I did here today, um, you know, if, if I do get myself in the mix again. And what are your sort of brief plans for travel down tonight or go tomorrow? Or? I'll travel down tonight, get settled in tonight. And um, yeah, I haven't, I, I haven't done any, um, you know, early reconnaissance or, you know, I haven't seen the place um, since 2014. So you know, I'll get out there on the course tomorrow and, um, you know, try to figure it out and make sure I'm ready for Thursday. Okay, to you, staying on the right. Rory, you mentioned you use you take advantage of gravity and the wind. I saw you practicing with uh, Brad Faxon this week. Did you work on this on purpose? Uh, not not so much that. Um, I think more just you know it, it's quite an adjustment going from 
the greens that we usually put on in America to, to the greens here. They're much slower. Um, and when they are much slower, uh, you don't have to read as much break into putts and everything like that. So it was just more getting adjusted to that and making sure. I think the one thing over here for me is um, if I have a tendency with my putter, it's to the putter rises up too quickly and I get it out of the sort of bottom half of the blade. Um, so really trying to keep the putter low through impact just to try to get a good roll on it and a good strike. Um, you know, that was sort of um, the, the one thing of my putting that I was thinking about this week. If you don't mind, I ask you another question. How happy are you to gain back your friend Sergio Garcia? Um, I'd say, yeah, we've talked, which is a first step. Um, yeah, there's, you know, there's things that we both think we probably could have done differently and um you know there's you know there's a lot that's went into it but um you know it's it's good that we're at least talking again um you know it's it's a first step i wouldn't say we're all the way there but we're it's a good first step okay if there are no more we'll take one more for cameron on the right Roy, way to your right okay <laughs> um you mentioned the tee shot on 17 and the two iron on 18. Uh, no one knows a good shot like a fellow pro and or a caddy. I was just wondering what they said when they saw that up close, uh, what they said to you, or if you even remember. Um, yeah, Tom, Tom came give me a, a fist bump after the, the shot on 18. Um, so it was nice to show the youngster I still had it in me, I guess. Um, but no, I ha again, I haven't really, I didn't, uh, I haven't had a chance to really talk to Harry or, or to, to see anyone else. Um, but yeah, that, that two iron on your team is, you know, that's probably going to be up there with uh, one of the best shots I'll, I'll hit in my career. Okay. Hey, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Rory. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.